Hi guys, welcome back to another first Descendant video. Today we are going to go through some of the weapons that we really believe people are sleeping on. These weapons recently got a big change that makes them even better. And the reason we were actually playing with these weapons is because we are desperate for getting experience for mastery rank and we realize, holy moly, they're actually pretty good. So these are the weapons that we think people are sleeping on, the tactical rifles. They recently got a change where you don't have to be clicking all the time. You can just hold down the trigger and they will be shooting non-stop. And it might seem for you a small change, but that change made these weapons much better. First, we are going to start with our welcome. Here in the left side of the screen, you guys can see the base stats. And the best part about this weapon is that it has a 40% base critical hit rate. The reload speed and the runs per magazine are pretty okay. But the biggest issue for me, and that's what I don't like this weapon, is that the rate of fire is pretty slow. Now, I'm sure somebody's going to be sitting there saying, but you can make this gun way better by putting this module in. Yes, you can make this gun where it's not as good with modules to improve it. But there's other tactical rifles that are just better in general. Like you could, they have better stats. So if you put those same modules in that gun, it's just going to always be better. The best thing about this gun, and it's still okay. It's not a bad gun. One of our least favorite, but the best thing about this gun is that it has that 40% critical hit rate. Next, we're going to check Greg's Reverse Fate, one of the gold tactical rifles. Here are the stats on the left side again, and they might not seem that impressive, but this weapon already comes with two crystallization catalysts on it, two different letters. And on top of that, it has a unique ability, which drops bombs in the ground and apply burns to the enemy. This also makes this tactical rifle one of my favorite ones. Next, we are going to talk about Jung's Novus Ambition, and this one is actually Mister's favorite tactical rifle. I haven't used all the tactical rifles yet. Um, the one we're missing is the Secret Garden, so I don't really know how good those stats are. It's still locked, but out of all of them so far, even Greg's Reverse Fate, this one is probably the one I enjoy the most because it has a rate of fire. It's not the best rate of fire, but it's comparable to some of the best. It has an absolute monster magazine. The reload time isn't the best, but you can make it better. And the critical hit rate is really, really good. I think it might be the second best critical hit rate tactical rifle just from base stats. So I've used it a lot. It was one of the, I think it was the second one I used when I was leveling up for, for uh, mastery rank. So this gun's awesome. And the first gun that I tried where I realized that tactical rifles are actually pretty good and pretty fun to use. Now the next two tactical rifles we have would be the Detachment and the Viper. You haven't really used them, so I'll talk about them a bit. I'm 38 with the Detachment, and I'm about halfway with the Viper. So uh, checking out the Detachment, we click on it, we look at the base stats, and they're good. They're good. I actually didn't think this gun was, was great when I first used it, but the more I tried it, it's actually pretty good. So the rate of fire is kind of slow, one of the slower ones, which is why I didn't love it in the beginning. The magazine size is pretty good, 42. Reload time is okay. Critical hit rate's a little bit low for the tactical rifle, but you can make it better. But it does good damage. The overall damage, at least on the way mine are rolled, the detachment does more damage than Young Noble's Ambition. So overall, I didn't think it was great, but it actually is pretty good. Middle of the road, for sure. Moving on to the Viper, this is one of my least used ones. I'm just starting this one. So overall, this one is okay. The recoil feels a little bit weird for me on this one compared to, for instance, the Young Noble's Ambition or the Detachment. But uh, overall damage is okay. It shoots really fast. It has a huge magazine again. The reload time is a little bit slower. The critical hit rate is also down a little bit, but still very good at 30%. Overall, it, it, it feels like this should be better, but I think what bothers me the most is just that the recoil is kind of weird compared to the rest of them. Now, the next one, the Red Eye, neither of us have used it. Here you can guys see the base stats just to compare. It looks like the critical hit rate is pretty much the same than the other tactical rifles. The reload time speed is a bit slow. You have decent sized magazine and you have a really fast fire rate. The biggest issue with this weapon is that it's a blue one, so it's missing all the perks that normally a purple or a gold weapon have. And the Secret Garden is the only one we haven't unlocked. We can't even check the stats because of it. We don't know how good it is. We assume it's pretty good since it's a gold weapon. But if you guys have any feedback about this specific weapon in comparison with the other tactical rifles, let us know in the comments. And now we are going to show you some gameplay using the ones we like. Oh, shoot. They're rushing hard. Yeah, you're getting them. More behind. Oh, more in the back. Shoot 
shooting him. But his body's in front. Oh, uh, my game is... Holy moly, my game is freezing up so bad. Okay, I killed the guys in the back. Oh, they're behind us. Uh, there's someone in front, too. Okay. Hitting the front ones if you're in the back. Mm hmm. Oh, I should like talks to my weapon. <laughs> They're weak to talks. You got, you got explosives coming to you. I killed one. There's more. Oh, you got him with your explosion, actually. Oh, nice. I don't want to waste my tactical ammo. No, I know. That's what I'm doing. Switching weapons just to break that. I think I'm getting shot in the back. He's, He's completely He's on you. Yeah, <laughs> there. Wait, there's another guy. Oh, I can't shoot while I'm sliding. I didn't realize that. He's a little bit too far away. Yeah, I'm trying to get a bit closer too. I don't know exactly where the damage drop off is on the one you're using. I don't remember actually. But I try not to use it like a sniper basically. <laughs> that is the rule of thumb for me. Helping you with the octopus. Okay, is that? I feel him. Oh, now he moved. He was targeting you so badly that he moved. Wait, I got a shot from behind. There you go. There are too many guys in here. Yeah, I don't think I have an element right now. It's no how, no way the best gun in the game, but I, I like it actually. It's fun to use too. I actually don't remember what we do here, but I know we farm this one a little bit. Maybe we just kill enemies? Possibly. But I know the one you have, you could get a better roll with it, which would make it better. Mm hmm. Oh, there's another guy there. Oh, there's an elite too, like you said. Oh, shit. I, I killed the... The elite? I'm trying to kill the, the ads. Maybe we farm this one on normal. I don't, I don't remember that right there. Oh, no, it's a cat. <laughs> they are weak to peers. They're using crash. That doesn't help. Yeah, unfortunately. He's one. He's dead. Nice. Okay. You don't get a double jump there for some reason. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it recoil have any recoil. This no, weapon. it has like practically none. Hey, you're cheating. <laughs> I don't know, the door opened for me. <laughs> You're right though, the recall is kind of weird. Kinda, yeah, it's kind of weird when you, if they're closed, it's fine, but if it's far, it's kind of weird. And it's really, yeah. it kind of reminds me of the young noble's ambition. It depends on how far away you are. Like, at medium, close, and close, it's fine. You gonna do the hard one, or you just want to skip? <laughs> no, I'm not doing I'm the hard one. I'm not doing the hard one either. So I <laughs> know I'm just sitting here in the back, the farthest I can from them. <laughs> They're rushing you. They're thinking about it. I'm trying to help you, but it's I'm kind of far from well, you. They're dying to my poison, so but this is one of those really weird, strong ones. Wait, I, you're not gonna get it off. You're not gonna get it off. No, I, I'm. Let's clean it up first. There's too many of these guys. Oh, oh look God. at that! What the hell? Do you have chill attack on yours or? Yeah, I left mean? it. Okay, I, I was left gonna say. it because since they rush you so much in this one, 
I feel like having shield is actually a good idea. Yeah. I don't think you need to do that one. I'm doing one already. Okay, so you can fine. move out. I think the recoil didn't feel a little bit weird. This might actually be better. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, you might be dead. No, I'm okay. I'm shooting the gas on top. That's fine. I don't know why I can't get up there, though. There's another laser hitting you. That's fine. No, I wasn't getting hit by it. Oh. Like, I wasn't sure because it goes inside the, like, the wall. It's weird. This laser. I'm shooting the top one. Oh, I'm helping you. Okay. Oh, they are dead. We're okay. Okay, trackers are dead. I got poison. Exploders? Are in water here? Them. No, I couldn't quite get it. Now it's done. You're fine, you're fine. You're getting shot, but you're fine. Exploders, I got some. I got the ones on top, but there are more coming. So these are the tactical rifles we like the most. By no means do we think they are the best weapons in the game, but they are pretty fun and we think they are comparable to some of the assault rifles in the game. So what do you guys think about tactical rifles in the first descendant?